Times political columnist Madeleine Ihejerika is joining us now to talk more about what's next for Trump. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So first of all, just your comments on the historic significance of this case. Well, you know, certainly I think that this is the biggest significant political case in the history of America. Um, and when President Trump says this was a historic day, yes, it was historic, but not for what he says. It was historic because a, a former president was found guilty of a crime and is now a convicted felon. That is what he needs to pay attention to. And there's no precedence here. There's no looking back uh, to see what could possibly happen. But still, I ask, what do you think this will do for his chances of winning the presidency? Well, you know, I think the fallout has been mixed. Um, the issue here is, will Republicans respond appropriately? And what we're seeing is that some, very few, are doing so, are saying we cannot elect a president who has been convicted of such a crime and has three other cases pending against him. Nikki Haley came out very strongly today and said that Americans, she believes Republicans and Americans will not vote for a convicted felon. However, you have those on the other side, uh, Mr. Johnson, you know, a tall, including eight GOP senators who are announcing a boycott against the Democrats after the verdict. So we have that other side that continues to press on. I think that what we're going to see is that Republicans are now going to face a crisis of identity. Um, Democrats have been in the midst of their own crisis um, uh, during the Biden presidency, but now you're going to see Republicans have to determine how they come together and unify around this particular president. That's really interesting, you know, as far as the politicians go, but what do you think about the voters? Do you think they're going to have the same kind of crisis, especially those who were sort of on the fence about whether they wanted to vote for him? I think you're going to see two things. Number one, the constituency that has continued to back President Trump at every turn, regardless of what he has done, regardless of what he is accused of, regardless of the evidence that has piled up, will continue to back him. This is a constituency that does not believe in the justice system, much less the Constitution or our democracy. You're not going to see a change from MAGA voters. What you will see is those who have been sitting on the fence, I do believe that it's going to give them pause and that that particular constituency are the ones who are now going to say, well, maybe maybe this is not who we want to vote for. Mm -hmm. Well, then the, the world uh, clearly reacting uh, to the verdict, uh, the possibility of what could happen. And also you've seen a lot of uh, formerly incarcerated people weighing in here, too. Uh, there's a video going around on TikTok uh, with different uh, formerly incarcerated individuals saying, I would never be allowed to run for president. What do you think this means for our country uh, from now and beyond? And how do you think the world is looking at us right now? I think that the world is laughing at the United States. Um, the world has been watching this, this, this joke play out um, of a former president who was accused of a trying to institute a coup of the U.S. government um, and then further accused in case after case. Three other cases are pending against him, very serious crimes. And he is the presumed Republican candidate. The world is watching and laughing. And I think that today the world will be saying, OK, this has got to be it. This, this has got to be the end. But what we've seen in the U.S. is that every time we thought this has got to be it with Trump, it has turned out that this is a Teflon Don. So I think that is going to be just ridiculous, you know, if this proceeds, and, and it will proceed. And we'll see what happens this weekend, because I believe he has some events planned uh, for the weekend as well. Marlon, always uh, good to hear your insight, and always good to see you as well. Thanks for being here again. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good weekend.